Hello and welcome back to the channel. Another positive story out of bounding into comics today. I feel like it's my birthday. I don't know. Again, karma or good luck. Fortune has smiled upon us, it seems, and Fox officially stakes richly diverse reboot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and kills it dead. Thank goodness. Series left indefinitely, quote, on pause. After lingering in limbo between night and day for almost four years, Fox has officially closed the coffin lid on their planned reboot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which the production studio promised would not only be, quote, richly diverse but also feature heavy involvement from the series creator Josh Whedon. Having Josh Whedon attached would be something that would be encouraging, but there were a lot of maybe alarm bells going off with this one too. News of the reboot's apparent demise first made public on August 19th, courtesy of The Hollywood Reporter's TV's Top 5 podcast. Quote, to whomever wrote inquiring about the status of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot that was put into development back in 2018, the series is, quote, on pause, which is industry speak for purgatory, Goldberg concluded, so make of that what you will. So it seems that this, basically, this series is not going forward at all. First announces in development in 2018, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot would have seen Josh Whedon and television writer Monica Owusu-Breen uh, pair up to revive the series with an uninspiring, I mean, unsurprising focus on diversity. So much so that the pair were rumored to be looking for an African-American actress to portray the eponymous Buffy Summers. Of course. Like our world, it will be richly diverse. And like the original, some aspects of the series could be seen as metaphors for issues facing us all today. Of course modern interpretation. We need to inject the narrative and inject identity politics by race swapping people because that's all we know how to do now. Take an existing property and retread it with people of a different color. Yes, it's so original. That would be very exciting. Tons of people are going to want to tune into that to watch what's already be done, but with different people. Whether or not this mystery slayer would have been any relation to the original character, Kendra Young, is unknown. In a separate statement released shortly after the reboot's announcement, uh, Owusu Breen attempted to assuage fan fears by assuring them that for some genre writers, it's Star Wars. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is my Star Wars. Before I became a writer, I was a fan. For seven seasons, I watched Buffy Summers grow up, find love, Kill that love. I watched her fight and struggle and slay. Well, I certainly do appreciate someone who is a fan of the series, but um, if you're going to simply retread the series with a different character, it's basically going to be the same storyline with, with a different actress or an actress of a different color even portraying Buffy Summers. That's not original, and that's not something that I want to watch. Now, if it would have been even probably a different character just substituted in for Buffy and we're basically doing the same thing as we did in Buffy, again, I'm not sure that's something that I necessarily want to see. Having watched the original series, why do I need to watch it again? If I wanted to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I would watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It would truly have to take a very different take. It would have to take a very different direction. There would have to be something new, but I find that difficult in a show that had seven seasons I find it would probably be difficult for you to find new ground to cover. And if you're simply going to cover the same old ground, but you're going to do, oh, you're going to inject modern politics or modern identity, uh, identitarianism or some sort of, you know, modern issues like that, basically just inject the narrative. I would skip it. In any case, I'm glad to see that this thing has been staked in the heart and we no longer have to put up with it because this thing was probably a stinking, rotting corpse from the beginning. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Were you excited to see Buffy the Vampire Slayer 2, Electric Boogaloo? Or were you happy to see that we're not going to have to deal with the undead zombie of Buffy the Vampire Slayer being reanimated and race swapped. Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, if you want to continue to smash the narrative, then smash the like, subscribe, and share buttons, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.